Thank you. Former President Trump in battleground Michigan today addressing the National Guard Association in Detroit. Our country is being destroyed by a radical political class that sends our guardsmen and women to defend the borders of distant foreign nations while they surrender our own borders to an invasion. Trump also marking the third anniversary of the chaotic U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. A ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery today to honor 13 U.S. service members killed in the terrorist attack at Kabul Airport. Prison. Oh. Three wreaths placed near the tomb of the unknowns. Today we had a uh, celebration of some great people, some great, great people who passed away, who were killed in the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. Vice President Harris releasing a statement today saying she will care for our troops and always honor their service and sacrifice while standing by President Biden's right decision to end America's longest war. Her campaign reporting it's raised more than half a billion dollars last month. 82 million came in just last week during the Democratic National Convention. The Harris campaign says she's focusing much of this week on debate preparation ahead of her first face off with Trump. You know, you can't cram knowledge into your head for, you know, 30 years of knowledge in one week. Uh, you have to know your subject, and I think I know my subject. In addition to Michigan, Trump is storming the key swing states of Wisconsin and Pennsylvania this week. Our latest polling shows Harris leading in those states with the exception of Georgia, where she and running mate Tim Walls are set to crisscross on a bus tour. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.